sort of far. And one place we will also see transport, as I was talking about earlier, you know, forms of transport and fast travel that Muhammad Ali is um, known to have, you know, gold covered fur lined Mercedes. Okay. So I okay, told you, the Shari Temple. Yes. Okay. The chariot was gold, and you see uh, the Mars is here, uh, seeing the fourth house. Oh, okay. And Mars is the Karaka for the fourth house, also. Yes, yes, yes. So that's the way it is. So let's uh, move on to uh, just one example. I'll take you profession that you have. You could have an equitarian sports or associated professions professions that is related to horses. Prince Charles, he has his moon, the Lagna Lord, and Rahu, Fantastic. associated is... in the 10th house, okay, so, and his uh, love for horses is known by everybody. And this is all, also all, almost, it's a full moon, I guess, yeah, I mean, not yes. exactly nearby. Yeah, yeah nearly. It yes. should have been around uh, Trayodashi or Chaturdashi. Yes, Chaturdashi. Yes, 12 degrees crossed. Yes, so it is around Chaturdashi. And his mother is supposed to be a very strong lady. The mother is supposed to also be very fond of horses. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So we move on to the remedial measures. Lots and lots that I cover up, but then we have uh, uh, the session. I was okay, just the, seeing Adolf Hitler's chart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Adolf Hitler also has it. And you will be seeing this in my new uh, video okay. on Ashwini Nakshatra today that I have released, where I have then used it. will definitely chart. watch it. <laughs> Please do. So that, that's one technique per uh, nakshatra that I have released. And today, Ashwini have released and shown the swiftness. Okay. So profession is psychologist, gardening, theologists, physicians, healers, mystics, military personnel, police, criminal court, merchants, salesperson, because they're very good salesperson. Ashwini Kumars also have the gift of gap. Very jokingly, very lovingly, they sell what they have to do. The chemists, physiotherapists, chemists because they have the knowledge of the medicines and physiotherapists because they know how to heal. Counselors, motivational speakers, musicians, horse trainers, jockeys, architects, stockbroking, business, interior design, flying, driving, riding and sports, physical arts, marriage counselors, goldsmiths, engineers, surgeons, herbologists, traditional forms of medicine, and so on. These are a few uh, professions that we have touched upon. Yeah, I, I have made one observation about those people who have prominent planets in Ashwini. Hmm. Especially if you have the Lagna or the Sun I have seen. I have one friend here. He ha He's hmm. Aries Lagna, the Ascendant, hmm. and Sun is in the first house. Both are in Ashwini. Okay. And uh, him, I have seen, he, he has so much of bodily heat and energy that yeah, in but winter... Yeah, the sun is also exalted for him. Yes, in winter also, here when it is snowing, he will wear this chapal and he will walk. He will not wear shoes with this uh, socks and all this. So people are like, oh, how are you alive, man? <laughs> <laughs> the sun is also, again, the lord of one of the fiery houses, fifth house. Yeah. And yeah. it's a fiery house, exalted. So it's like, it's burning. There is nuclear energy within him. <laughs> and he goes to the gym, I think, every day around two hours, something like that. And he's physically very fit and strong. And if you see him, you will start fearing. <laughs> yeah, Lagna is also the physique. The fifth house is also physique. So he must be tall built also. He must be tall and well built. Yeah, he's quite well built. And that typical thing is there with sun in the first house. Less hair. <laughs> Less hair, but tall because... Um, it's an exalted sun and sun is the biggest planet for us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's quite, yes. Yes. He is, I think. 
near about 6 feet or something like that yeah for an indian that's tall yes pretty okay for auspicious activities it's travel because ashwini kumar's related travel so when moon is transiting this particular sign go in for taking medicine traveling taking up any healing activities making ornaments repair of any kind beginning lessons learning occult sciences beginning architectural studies buying or selling starting a journey again travel planting they're good with herbs so you can do that building prayer altars they are good again with prayers starting in health regime so anybody who wants to start to exercise could should do it right from the ashwini uh, nakshatra and say okay now i want to do exercising because i want to maintain a good health help me please they likely to help you and another thing people can do is uh, if they plan to open some new business but if they plan to open a bank account for that that they can do that day, then money will also come very It's fast coming, yes yes money will but one thing is business uh, i generally do not um, you know business should be done in a more sthira nakshatra okay opening a bank account is fine but uh, this is a shipra nakshatra this is a very fast nakshatra okay so um, business can be uh, started on a rohini nakshatra or one of those nakshatras dhruva nakshatras grounded uttar falguni is actually yeah the sthira nakshatras because what happens is then the business will move and grow okay okay so the beej mantras here is om am or om im and gayatri mantra is also there so um i until and unless you are guided by a spiritual guru do not move into the genre of beej mantras best to pray to them with a clean heart and ask them to aid you they do because the beej mantras have a huge amount of potency and they can hurt you they can also make you uh, you know face a lot of problems there is a flip side to it and it comes this comes from a personal experience trust me it's not to scare people it's having seen that done that been there that is i'm telling you do not do something that is unaided in case of beej mantras one thing that all of us can do all of us can do if you have a uh, you know ascendant sun or moon in um especially moon in ashwini is take up the respective pada of vishnu sahasranam that does very well for everybody it it does work a lot in keeping you healthy hearty so on so forth anyone who is born in ashwini first pada should do the first stotra first pada of ashwini uh, you know um, vishnu sahasrana first shloka born in the second pada should do the second shloka repeat it as many times as you would feel like born in the third pada do the third shloka born in the fourth pada do the fourth shloka that helps you remain a very healthy lifestyle a very spiritual lifestyle when you go to tirumala hills the first sound will come of this only <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh, there are a lot of remedies that one can do but one practical remedy that i would like to you know suggest people is that if you see a pair of twins around you okay mm-hmm. get them home uh rever them get them home rever them have them to uh, you know be happy at your place offer them some chocolates sweets some milk with honey in it and pray for their well being when you pray for somebody's well being you are also taken care of that is very sure that's the energy that the universe always sends your way so when you Pray, pray for their well-being the twins well-being the twins energy will also take care of you so this is one very very simple remedial measure that people the world over can do but uh, but i would also you know pass a disclaimer here take the consent of the parents of the twins 
of the young twin, you know. Otherwise, people might take offense about it. So you can do it. You can donate medicines to somebody on this uh, Ashwini day. You can, there are lots and lots of remedies associated. But remedies generally should be done with a specific thing in mind. And if you really want to help people, go ahead and donate on this day. It's good. So this is the god and this is the goddess uh, of Ashwini Nakshatra. The temple is in Tiruvar and uh, there are the temple details. If, if somebody wants to go there, there's a phone number attached here. You can take the phone number, go and get your puja done for the afflicted Ashwini Nakshatra. Well, well, yeah. How do you get this phone number? <laughs> <laughs> There's this friend of mine, very good friend of mine. She had got all these contacts and she'd given it to oh, me. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> so this brings us to the end of Ashwini Nakshatra. No, oh, fantastic. It is nice. Today Moon is Ashwini and Nakshatra is also Ashwini very fast. And I think so the session also got over very fast. <laughs> <laughs> None of this session took 50 minutes, but we it really uh, appeared to have got on fast. Yeah, yeah, yes. Things are going very fast today. So, which is the next Nakhatra you plan to speak on? We can take up uh, Punarvasu, Pushya, any of these Nakshatras. Let's see how it works out for okay, us. Okay, let's take Punarvasu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We'll yeah, so thank you very much for coming. And those of you who don't know, let me just inform that she also has a channel. And if you have not watched her videos on Anuradha Nakshatra, which I had uploaded in four parts, it's there in the playlist. Uh, please go, uh, go there and watch it. it. Lots of views have come there. I, I am very sure you will like it. And if you want a consultation, I will pin the link for her website also below <laughs> and her YouTube channel also in the description. Okay. So if thank you, want... you so much, Babaji. Thank you so much for your generosity. Yeah. Yeah. See you then. Uh, we'll be back with Punarasu. Okay. Bye.